Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome. I know we have a lot of people over here kind of in the shadows, so if you want, you're welcome to come over here into the light. A place that's going to get a lot brighter soon. Um, well, welcome. This is such a, a, a happy occasion, a historic occasion, and uh, it's no coincidence that at Campion our president is a historian and our dean is a historian, so we have a sense of history. Because we're about to, uh, what we're doing here is very significant. It's embarking on probably one of the biggest construction projects we've had at Campion uh, since the creation of this college. And um, hello and welcome. I'd like to welcome everybody here. It's, it's, a, it's it's great to see so many people here this morning on this wonderful day. Um, I'd like to have a special welcome to our Minister of, Ad of Advanced Education, Kevin Doherty. Kevin, you're always welcome here. It's nice to see you here. And uh, as I was saying to Kevin, the uh, first time he visited, I gave him the tour of the college, beginning with a ride in our current elevator, which is older than I am. <laughs> so that, we'll talk about that later. I'd like to also recognize Dr. Lynn Wells, over here, uh, Vice President of Academic of First Nations University, a uh, collaboration we particularly cherish. So thanks, Lynn, for being here. Um, Denise Nelson, who's the chair of our Campion College Board of Regents, who's done a wonderful job as our chair. And uh, Brian Smith, who's here on my right. He's a fourth year history student of Campion College. And I actually had the privilege of teaching Brian last year. And it went, he survived. <laughs> Good. And he's not just saying that. <laughs> so we're here to mark the official start of our building project, of our building enhancement project, also known as the accessibility project, because this project is all about accessibility. It's about giving people a chance to experience the college the way everybody experiences the college. And um, this project's been years in the making, and we could, we could not have reached this day without some very important partnerships. We've been working with students. We've been consulting with Brian and many other students. We've been working with government, university partners. And it's nice to see so many of you here today to represent these groups. We've had support from government, from donors, and from alumni. And we will go on to um, ask for support from these groups. We've engaged professional partners, PCL Construction, who will be uh, working on this project, and P3A Architects. So it's really an exciting collaboration between all of these groups. Now, last December 3rd, um, for Jesuits, we know December 3rd is the Feast of Francis Xavier, a very famous Jesuit. But December 3rd has, a very, has another important significance, and that is it's the World Day for Persons with Disabilities. And uh, one of our students, Dale Williamson, uh, challenged me to a wheelchair challenge, to ride around in this college in his wheelchair. It sounded like fun at first, but it was quite difficult. I got to experience the college the way Dale, Brian, and many of our students experience this college. And he said that it's, it's quite accessible already in many ways, but there are things we need to work on. First of all, he said, was the elevator. I got to experience what it's like to experience, to see the college at this level, to have people kind of standing above you, to have to reach to pour myself a coffee, and to be unable to hold that coffee as I wheel the wheelchair. I got to experience what it's like to come through these double doors, when you expect that people hold the door open for you, but that doesn't always happen. I got to experience what it's like to go into a small elevator and be unable to turn around or to back out on my own. I got to experience doors that are too heavy to open, libraries, stacks that are too narrow for me to enter. If it's, if you, it's true that you gain knowledge of a person by walking a mile in his or her shoes. I certainly gained first-hand experience of what our students with disabilities deal with every single day. So I'd like to thank Dale for that challenge, and it's too bad he's, he's not able to be here today. He's out of town, but he's very much with us in spirit. He's been an important person that we've consulted on this project. The greatest need uh, expressed by our students with disabilities is the elevator. As I said, the elevator is original to this building. It's older than I am. And so you can understand our excitement as we begin phase one of the project this summer. And for updates on the project, you can consult our website, campaigncollege.ca. At this point, I would like to introduce our chair of the Board of Regents, Ms. Denise Nelson, to say a few words. 
please. Thank you, Dr. Meehan. I'd like to welcome the Minister of Advanced Education, Kevin Doherty, our university partners, students, faculty, staff, and our honoured guests. <coughs> As the Chair of Campion College, Board of Regents, I am pleased to announce the start of this very important initiative. This project has been many years in the making and has involved collaboration of many partners, in particular the University of Regina, Wascana Centre Authority, PCL Construction, and P3A Architects. As well, this project would not be possible without the participation of our students, faculty and staff, and the support of our donors and the Government of Saskatchewan. The college serves more than just the Campion community. We are part of a larger University of Regina campus that includes our partner institutions, Luther College and the First Nations University of Canada. The large building you see outside these windows is the new university residence that will become home for some 600 university students. It will also include Campion College living, learning community for those interested in social justice and leadership, values that are central to our mission. Our classrooms welcome students from all program, programs across the campus, and our faculty provide students with a strong core in the liberal arts and sciences. Programs such as campus ministry, library, the writing center, and Math Stats Help Center offer much needed support for all students on campus. As our university campus grows both in numbers and in the diversity of students, the college has made its priority to create a barrier-free environment for all. In 2012, Campion College commissioned P3A Architecture Partnership to complete a total building assessment. This assessment identified and provided details of work required to maintain the property in a safe and functional state over the next 25 years. It has been evident to us for some time that the replacement of the elevator, which is original to the building and older than John, is the key component in creating a more accessible environment. The plan for the relocation and replacement of the elevator has come with much consultation and will benefit all students with additional improvements and enhancements to access and safety throughout our building. This project would not be possible without the support of our donors, and the Ministry of Advanced Education <coughs> Preventive Maintenance and Renewal Grant. We are grateful to the Government of Saskatchewan for seeing the importance of projects such as this one to ensure that our educational facilities provide a healthy and a safe environment for all. We are pleased to officially break ground today on the start of Phase 1 of this building project which will involve the construction of a new entryway and external stairway, stairwell. Phase two, which will see the addition of a new elevator, will begin next summer. With this groundbreaking, the college will also begin a $1.6 million campaign to support the second phase of the building enhancement project. Thank you all for joining us here today to celebrate the beginning of this very important initiative. We look forward to welcoming you back to an enhanced college building when we celebrate our 100th anniversary in 2017. Thank you very much, Denise. Denise mentioned uh, the many sponsors, many partners we've had that have brought us to this day. And uh, quite frankly, this project would not have been possible without the support of the government of Saskatchewan. We've sensed with the government from the beginning support for this project. 
that people in the government understand why we need to do this project to enhance uh, accessibility to our building. And we were fortunate to receive a grant from the PMR Fund, that's Prevention and Maintenance Renewal Fund, and uh, from the Ministry of, of Advanced Education. And that really demonstrates their desire to be part of this shared commitment to creating barrier-free access to our post-secondary institutions. So I'd like to thank, uh, on behalf of the college, uh, Minister Doherty, and, the, and many others from the Ministry of Advanced, Edu Advanced Education who have been our partners throughout this process, and we value that partnership. So on behalf of the college, I'd like to thank you. And now I'd like to invite Minister Doherty to say, say a few words on behalf of the ministry. Well, thanks very much, President Meehan and uh, Denise. Good morning. Faculty and staff members, uh, I think there's some colleagues from adjoining Luther College here this morning as well. Dr. Wells, I think, uh, nice to see you again. And Brian, I just met Brian this morning and we chatted briefly here and he told me he took a class from John earlier this year and I said, how'd you do? He said, it was awesome. I said, you don't have to say that anymore. And you stand right there, you already got your mark, right? He said, I know, but I might have to take a class from him in the future. So he's, uh, he's thinking ahead on those things. I am uh, delighted to be here this morning on behalf of our Premier, uh, Brad Wall, and the government of Saskatchewan. Uh, it's great to see everyone here this morning for this announcement to improve accessibility throughout the college for persons with disabilities. The planned upgrade for this facility is in line with our vision to reduce barriers by simply making it easier for students and faculty members and staff and visitors to access this building. The Governor of Saskatchewan is pleased to support this project with $442,000 through the Ministry of Advanced Education's Preventative Maintenance and Renewal Fund. Now, $442,000 probably doesn't seem like a lot of money in the big scheme of things with respect to a provincial budget, but it means the world for individuals like Brian, who have to access various classes and, and uh, floors above this particular floor in this building, and as well as other faculty members and staff members and visitors and other students. The 2015-16 budget provides $23.6 million in funding, an increase of 15% this year, for preventative maintenance and renewal projects at all of our post-secondary <coughs> educational institutions. Our government is committed to building and maintaining the necessary infrastructure to ensure we are meeting the needs of our post-secondary students. We understand the value of providing barrier-free learning facilities to ensure all students have the ability to fully participate in their academic programs. We must be mindful that the benefits of growth should provide everyone in our province with the opportunity to realize his or her full potential. We strive to make Saskatchewan the best place in Canada for persons with disabilities. That is why our government is currently working in consultation with members of the disability community and support workers to develop a new provincial disability strategy. I think it was a couple of weeks ago at the legislature, John mentioned that he went back on December 3rd and, and did a full day in a wheelchair to see what that experience is like seeing it through the eyes of someone who has to be in a wheelchair all day long. A couple of weeks ago, there were members of the legislature who took the challenge of being in a wheelchair for the full day uh, in carrying out their duties on both sides of the aisle, both opposition members and government members. Um, I think it probably wasn't 10 minutes into the day that Greg Ottenbright had flipped his wheelchair and <laughs> many of the others had run into walls and, and uh, banged up their knuckles in trying to maneuver around the, the legislative assembly and in chatting with them later on, um, they were profoundly struck with the challenges that they faced, even knowing full well they could get up out of that chair and walk away at any particular time, but it gave them a fuller appreciation of, of the challenges that people with physical disabilities face on a day-to-day -day basis in a building that is accessible uh, for the most part, not unlike what we're going to have here in a year's time at Campion College. So I want to congratulate Campion for this project. We are pleased to work with you to help accommodate the needs of everyone with a physical disability, and I look forward to seeing the completed project and coming back here and seeing when it's fully operational. Thank you so much for inviting me here this morning. Majority for your support and your leadership. One of the most exciting parts of this project so far for me has been uh, the chance to dialogue with students. And Brian's not the only student with disabilities who we've been connecting with. There have been quite a few and um, they've often taken us around the building themselves, outside the grounds as well, pointing out things that just we hadn't noticed. You know, years ago, uh, 
I, I entered the Jesuits later in life, and it was because of my time in France with Jean Vanier. And you might have heard of Jean Vanier, the Canadian who set up homes for mentally and physically handicapped people. And the president of our university, Dr. Vianne Timmins, had the chance to meet uh, Jean Vanier um, during her last trip to Europe, and was, was really touched by him, and I was as well. I think this project is really keeping with the mission of this college. And uh, we see these, the Jesuit values of care of the person, what we call cura personalis. And uh, care of all of our persons, all of the students that are, that are here in our care, all those people who come here to grow intellectually, socially, and spiritually. And what's been exciting for me is the chance to listen to those students, to bring them into the center of the consultation process. And our staff, our building, uh, manager has met with them on an ongoing basis and they will continue to be at the center of the consultation of this process. We've consulted our staff, our students, many others, but it's the students with disabilities themselves that are driving this process and at the center of this process and that's why we're doing it. So that input has been invaluable. So now I'd like to invite Brian up to share a few words of what this project means to him. Brian? always been fairly good with facilities uh, and helping people out with disabilities, but the only one glaring weakness was always the elevator here. I couldn't even turn my chair around inside the elevator, that's how bad it's been. But today, the launching of this project gives me great hope for the future of Camp Campion, and I'm hoping as Campion continues to grow with various students coming here with disabilities, uh, it will become a leading college for facilities and allowing people with disabilities to come here and experience the great things this college has to offer. Um, the leadership group here has always been amazing. Uh, when I first met President Meehan, it was a, about a year and a half ago, and he was he actually came and introduced himself to me. I didn't even know he was the president of Campion. He said, I'm brand new here. I, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to get to know the students here. What's your name? Um, what's your major? And so we found a common ground there because he's also into history as well. So uh, we've been working together ever since. I, as you said, I took a class from him about a year ago. It was good. I, I wasn't lying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the, the people here have always been excellent. And I'm really excited to see the leadership group putting this project into motion because that means more projects like this in the future will be brought for, forward. And the last thing I'd like to say is as a future alumnus of this college, I'm very excited about today's events because I can say that I was a part of this and I, I can tell people in the future to come to Campion College and register with Campion because they are open-minded and they're willing to listen to you and they're willing to put projects in motion to make your life easier. Thank you. Awesome speech. I, I know before this, Brian said he was a bit nervous, and I said, well, I get nervous too, Brian, and I do this for a living. <laughs> but you spoke so well, I think you should apply to be my successor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Brian.
Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> you got three years to get ready. It's nice to be moving forward with this project. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, the consultation continues. Consultation of our faculty, our staff, our board members, <laughs> of our stakeholders, and especially of our students who, have dis who live with disabilities. I'd like to also acknowledge uh, the work of Chris Rozelle and his, where's Chris? Back there somewhere. Over there. Uh, with uh, P3A, who will be um, part of the, uh, who's really leading the design plan uh, for the new spaces that will be created with the new entrance, the new staircase, new elevator. And that, again, uh, involves <coughs> considerable consultation with the entire college community. Well, now the moment we're all waiting for, uh, the official start of this project. And so if you uh, look at this wall over here, you'll see something hanging. It's not a world map. It's, uh, you'll see what it is in a moment. Uh, a banner. And I'd like to invite Minister Doherty, Denise, and Brian to come with me as we unveil this <coughs> And as I said, there'll be regular updates on our website of this project over the next two summers. So you're welcome to look at that, give us input, uh, your views are welcome. So uh, thanks very much for being here today, and you're all invited to a reception we have, just coffee and munchies, uh, and uh, thank you again for being here and for your support.